what exactly is pollution? Is it the smoke that you see or is it often not visible to the naked eye? What is particulate matter 10 and particulate matter 2.5, which actually is just so tiny, 30 times tinier than a normal human hair strand. It gets into your bloodstreams and reaches all your organs. This report is going to tell you all about what pollutants are. The recurring blanket of poisonous haze, a pre-winter phenomena, has become an annual event. With many having to resort to investing in expensive air purifying equipment and even staying indoors. spate of new research is showing the insidious effects of pollution on health which manifests as sore throat, cough, cold, watery eyes and tightness in the chest. The impact of pollution could even snowball into deadly ailments like COPD, cancer, renal and cardiovascular diseases. The paranoia around these ailments requires demystification of pollution to take better protective measures. So, what is pollution? Pollution is a product of toxic materials entering the environment. Nowadays, pollution is mainly caused by highly concentrated mix of gases like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide and hydrocarbons. These gases are mainly contributed through vehicles, factories, crop burning and fossil fuel burnings. When these gases react with sunlight, they form smog, which is a thick fog or haze. But one, one of the, the most menacing, menacing pollutants, pollutants is, is one that, that is, is not necessarily, necessarily visible, visible to the naked, to the naked eyes. eyes. It is known as particulate matter. There are different types of particulate matter which vary in size, shape and chemical composition. They are defined by their diameter for air quality regulatory purposes. Most of the particulate matter includes dust from construction sites, landfills and agricultural activities, wildfires and waste burning, industrial sources, wind blown dust from open lands, pollen and fragments of bacteria. Pollutants other than particulate matter are the lesser evil and can adversely affect young children, the elderly and those with weakened immune systems or respiratory ailments. But particulate matter can even affect healthy individuals. Based on the size, Particulate matter is often divided into two groups. The first is PM10, which contains particles with sizes ranging from 2.5 to 10 micrometers. The other fraction contains PM2.5, which is 2.5 micrometers in diameter. To put it into perspective, PM2.5 is 30 times thinner than a strand of hair, which on average is 70 micrometers. It is invisible to the naked eye and since it is microscopically small, it can penetrate the lungs. Most of the total mass of airborne particulate matter is usually made up of fine particles ranging from 0.1 to 2.5 micrometers, which is why they pose such a huge health risk. Apart from the involvement of the lungs, which would include uh, as development of asthma, COPD, allergies, infections like tuberculosis and uh, even people during COVID who were exposed to uh, poor air quality had greater symptoms and had like greater likelihood of developing uh, COVID infection because of the air pollution. So lung cancer, then there's a new entity which has been found, this is called hypersensitivity pneumonitis which is also being associated with uh, uh, air pollution now. So these are the pulmonary complications in the adults. 
Then there can be the non-pulmonary complication which would include acute heart attacks, atrial fibrillation or arrhythmias, brain strokes, premature deaths. There are studies which have shown that just by the exposure to this air pollution, we in Delhi have reduced our lifespans, average expected lifespan by 11.9 years. In children, they could develop poor lung functions, poor lung immunity, they could also develop allergies. Some children even could develop uh, uh, brain retardation, slow growth mentally, which is some psychosomatic disorders, all that can happen. According to this year's Global Air Quality Life Index report released by University of Chicago, fine particulate matter will stave off 5.3 years from an average Indian's life. Those who live in Delhi have it worse, since living in the most polluted city in the country will cost them 11.9 years. In New Delhi, with Chetna Vasudevan, your report, India Today.